Hi guys, in this tutorial, I will show you top 5 easy car effects you can do in After Effects. First effect, car slam. First of all, let's duplicate the video, then right click on it and pre compose it. Make sure to click on Move All Attributes into the new composition and also select the Adjust Composition Duration, then click on OK. Then go to Time and click on Freeze Frame. Move duplicated layer to the moment from where you want the slam to start. Cut the duplicated layer at the time where the actual video starts. Select the Roto Brush tool and double click on the duplicated layer. Make a nice selection of a car to isolate it. Once you have finished selecting the car, click on Freeze button to isolate the car. Now go back to composition, and let's make a slam effect. Go to very end of the duplicated layer and press P on your keyboard and create a keyframe for a position. Now go to the very beginning of this layer and change position. I will move it all the way down. You can move it up or right or left, it's up to you. Make sure to enable motion blur to that layer. Cool, it's almost done. For smooth slam, select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Already cool, but let's add speed ramp to it. Go to graph editor, right click on a timeline and make sure, auto select graph type is enabled. Then let's make a smooth speed ramp curve. At this point slam starts slowly and goes fast at the end. If speed ramp is too fast, you can always adjust the curve. Press U on your keyboard to see the keyframes, select both and then go to graph editor again, and adjust the curve, until you will be happy with it. A bonus tip for you, let's add a shake effect to the actual clip. So, when car slams into the clip, there will be a shake, that will look more cool. Add twitch effect to the clip, at the very beginning of the video. Press on the stopwatch to create a keyframe, change amount to 25 and speed 20. Expand enable and select, light and slide. Go a few frames forward and change amount to zero. That's better now. If you don't have a Twitch plugin, let me know in the comments and I will make a tutorial on it. I will leave a Twitch plugin download link in the description. Second effect, animated saber outline effect. You will need to mask out the wheel first. You can use pen tool or roto brush tool, but I suggest you to get mocha and make any selections with it. Press on mocha AE and once you are there, click on elliptical tool and make a perfect selection of the wheel. Correct the edges now. Press tracking button once you selected wheel perfectly. If it needs a correction, correct the mask and track it backward. Look, how satisfying Mocha do the tracking. Once you have finished tracking, press save button and close Mocha AE. Now expand matte, and click on create AE masks. This will create a smooth mask to the wheel. Click on your layer and press M on your keyboard. Change mask mode to none. Add saber effect to it. Expand Render Settings, and change Composite Settings to Add. Now expand Customize Core, and change Core Type to Layer Masks. Let's change Saber, choose any presets you will enjoy, I will stay with Energize. Then change to any color you like. At the very beginning of the video set keyframes to end offset and start offset, set the value to 0 for both offsets. Then go to very end of the video and set the values to 100% for both offsets. At the beginning, go a few frames forward and press U on your keyboard. Move start offset a few frames forward. Cool, but now let's adjust a saber a bit. You can copy my settings or make your own adjustments. Cool, now let's smooth out the motion, select all keyframes for end offset and start offset and press F9 on your keyboard, the go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Third effect, warp bubble effect, duplicate the video and grab roto brush tool. Double click on your video and make a nice selection of your car. Press freeze button as you finish selection. Go back to composition. Nice, we have a cool isolated car now. Duplicate the roto brush layer. Select the middle layer and let's apply a turbulent displace effect to this layer. 
Expand displacement and select turbulent smoother. Set mount to 150 and size 50. You can hide the background layer and top layer to see what are you making. That's a lot easier to adjust the turbulent. Play around with settings or copy mine. Hold Alt and press on Evolution Watch icon. Type, time 250. This will animate warp bubble effect. Change turbulent display settings until you are happy with it, or copy mine. Enable all layers. Select the middle layer and press on P button. Change the position, I will move warp bubble up a bit. Cool. Let's add glowing effect on it. Add Find Edges effect, and select Invert. Now add Glow effect. Make sure Glow based on is set to Color Channels, and change Glow colors to A and B colors. Change colors on your wish. Now change some settings, copy mine if you like it. Let's animate warp bubble. Go a few frames forward press P on your keyboard and set a keyframe for position. Expand turbulent displace and set keyframe for amount. Expand find edges and set keyframe for blend with original. Lastly expand glow and set keyframe for glow intensity. Press U to see all keyframes. Now go to very beginning of the video and set all keyframes to zero. For find edges set the value to 100%. Other keyframes should be at zero. Now change position rate to the original video rate, in my case it is 540 to 960. Now as you play back your video warp bubble slowly comes out from the car. Smooth out position keyframes, select both keyframes and press on F9 on your keyboard. Go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Copy and paste keyframes to the end of the video, so warp bubble comes in and goes out. Copy keyframes for other effects as well. Press U to see all keyframes and copy and paste them to the end as well. Fourth effect, car logo flip effect. Duplicate the video twice. Rename Frisk two videos, first going to be flip layer and second, clean one. Toggle off first and the last layers. Cut the clean layer at the time from where you want that effect to start, also cut the ending. We need to mask the car logo, grab the pen tool and make a nice selection. Press M button, right click on the mask and select track mask. I suggest to track the mask manually. Correct the points of the mask. That's why you have to mask it manually, auto-masking sometimes not working well. Change masking mode to subtract. Add a feather a bit and expansion. Then go to content aware fill, copy my settings and press generate fill layer. This will remove the car logo. Move down the fill layer under the flip layer, cut the fill layer as well. Toggle on the flip layer and cut it too. We can start animating the logo. Create a perfect mask of the logo. I will use Mocha AE for the best results. Grab the elliptical tool and make a perfect selection of the logo. You can use a pen tool or Roto Burst tool for selection, it's up to you. But if you have Mocha AE, use Mocha, it's the best way to track anything. Once it finished the tracking, click the Save button and close Mocha AE. Under the mocker, expand matte, and click on create AE masks. Just look what a smooth selection we have. Press on anchor point tool, and move the anchor point to the center of the logo. Go to very end of the flip layer, press on P and set a keyframe. Press S and create a keyframe, enable 3D for flip layer and create Y rotation keyframe as well. Now go to very beginning of the flip layer and set the same keyframes. Enable the last layer. Go to the middle of the video and press U on your keyboard to see all keyframes. Change position, set Y rotation to 1 and add scale a bit. 
Enable motion blur on a timeline. Select all the keyframes we have made and press F9 on your keyboard. Go to graph editor and make a curve like this. Fifth effect, anime girl dancing. First of all, let's click on track camera, then expand advanced and select detailed analysis. Find best three points then right click on it and click on create null and camera. Cut the created null layer where the video ends. Now let's bring our anime girl dancing video to the composition. Check the video description I will leave a download link of anime dancing girl. Scale her a bit. Now apply a luma key to the layer. Change key type to key out darker, we need to delete this black screen. Set the threshold to 1 and make edge thin too. Cut the anime layer where the video ends. Link anime layer to track null layer. And enable 3D layer to anime dancing clip. Adjust the position, scale, and rotation. Cool, let's add a shadows to make it look more realistic. Duplicate anime layer, select bottom one and rename it to shadow. Add a fill effect to shadow layer. Change color to something like gray or near to black. Change position and rotation of the shadow and make it look as realistic as possible. Change fill opacity to around 30. Add a Gaussian blur to the shadow layer and add blurriness a bit. Looks cool but, the shadow is not realistic if you look closely, let's make the shadow behind the turbo in my case. Select the actual car layer, in my case it is under the hood layer. Duplicate it and move it to the top of the shadow layer. Now select Roto Brush tool and make sure to delete the 3D camera tracker. Then double click on the duplicated layer. In my case I want to make shadow behind the turbo, so I will select only turbo here. Press freeze button once you have finished selection. Go back to composition. Wow, now it looks amazing. Hope this top 5 edits were helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.